here we are, tucked into Westport. We're gonna stay here a couple days, explore this town, and just kind of get caught up on a few things. I got a couple projects I want to do, and we want to explore this town. They're dredging the marina, so you'll be hearing a little bit of mechanical behind me occasionally. Girls are uh, just getting ready. We're gonna take Compass for a walk. Take him for a long walk. He hasn't seen shore uh, a couple weeks. We couldn't take him to shore in Nia Bay, couldn't get him past the sea lions. And in La Push, there were so many dogs that we couldn't get him off the boat. So he's itching for a nice big long walk. So that's what we're doing right now. Let's go exploring! Yeah! <laughs> Ah, this observation tower gives you a nice vantage point of the entrance to Grace Harbor, Grace Harbor itself, and this massive marina here. It is a big marina. You know, as we were coming in the other night, this entrance, it always feels much smaller as, as the sun setting, but I look at it now, it's two miles across. I recognize every single buoy and marker now. As we were coming in, we were scouting those out. Got a little bit of surf coming in and some surfers off in the distance. It's really cool. They have so many cool like jetty cats and like raccoons around here. I'm trying to see if I can see it. Oh, there it is. So this was the entrance that we came in the other night. Right through here, and this dredge was camped out right here. We were gonna head that way uh, to float 21, but instead, much easier to go over here. Just another gorgeous day out here. This is crazy. Gotta love it. So it's just kind of nice. You know, the last time Teal and I were here was about 20 years ago. God, it doesn't look the same to me. He says it's the same, but the smells and the sounds are still the same. Yeah. And it's really nice to just kind of come back with Emma now. Yes, it's really cool here. And just kind of enjoy it. The people are really friendly and really helpful and life revolves around fishing, so. Big score because we get to get as much fresh seafood as possible. Emma and Teal are going to come back here tomorrow <laughs> and try their hand at fishing from the dock. So yeah. that'll be fun. <laughs> it looks like we are going to be here in Westport for a little bit. And yesterday, Teal and I were talking about some projects that we need and that we want to tackle while we're here. Um, I noticed something while we were talking that the crew was looking a little shaggy. So today, before we tackle anything else, I want to have the crew work on a little personal maintenance. So we are going to all take a trip to Salon Basic. I think that the crew looks pretty sharp. 
it's nice sometimes to do a little self maintenance on yourself. Um, the surprising thing was was how difficult it was to give Compass a haircut. You would think a small dog would not give you any grief, but boy did he. And I even took the time to give myself a haircut. So it just feels nice and light. It took about four inches off. I feel pretty good about it. I don't know what you guys think. Well, I'm all cleaned up and looking pretty. A little blustery out here today. Not that it's bad, it's not real cold, it's just kind of that mist. A little bit of wind, and just uncomfortable. And I'm gonna be working outside. Well, I'm gonna work as much as I can inside. But I have to get to work. While we're in Westport, I wanna start phase two of our sail plan, and that's working on the main. You know, the main has been the elephant in the room. Our head sail's working great, we like the performance, we like the deck hardware, location, everything's running smooth with that sail. It's time to do this with the main. And to do that, we have quite a bit to do. We're gonna start with, we gotta get a new track, cars and hardware, all new lines. We're gonna have to replace the topping lift, the lazy jack, the outhaul. Gotta clean up the boom. Then we need to mount winches, deck hardware. It's a big project. Not to mention the stack pack and new sale itself. So we'll start it here. We'll see how much I get done. I'm gonna start with deck hardware first because I wanna get up to the top of this mast and I need that winch in to haul either myself or Lynn up there. So we'll get that going today. You know, this, this winch here, it's a great winch. It's a Harkin 42, and I tried to find another one because I want matching winches on this uh, cabin top. Can't find it. So I'm going to pull this winch off and put two matching winches on. They're Harkin uh, 46s, a little bit bigger, a little bit more power, and we'll be happy with those. I'll save this winch for something else down the road. So we'll tear that out today, start building the, the riser and the backer plates, and then start with the deck hardware. We've got quite a bit of deck hardware to go down associated with the main. We have, well, I'll go over that in a little bit. I also want to do some line control. I don't want these sitting in buckets anymore. We're going to put nice uh, line bags on either side to control the lines, keep those off the deck, keep them dry and out of the elements, so tucked underneath here. Got a lot to do. Let's go inside and see what I have. starting to line things up in here. Now I'm going to steam up. Okay, here's our new line bags. This is going to handle uh, winch storage. And here's the new clutches going in. This one will be for the main halyard and the traveler. This will be the topping lift and the outhaul and some other uh, hardware associated with that. I've already built some of the backer plates when I was building them before. And here's our new winches. Let's bust these open, take a look at them. Okay, here they are. These are our new Harkin 46 two-speed self-tailing winches. You know, the drums are a little bit fatter than the other on the 42, and it's got uh, a textured drum, so it, it helps grip the line. I think these are gonna be a great fit for our boat. So to get these mounted, I have to build my uh, riser and backer plates. I've actually set up a cut room down here in our guest stateroom. I don't want the rain to slow me down today. So I'll be working in here. I've already laid these out. That's step one. Get these all cut out, shaped, routered, and smoothed out. It's going to be raining the rest of the day it looks like, but I want to be prepared for tomorrow. I want to have all this ready so we can get those winches in. Start uh, installing all the rest of that deck hardware. Okay, as you can see, I just slightly overcut my line. Jigsaw doesn't do a real fine cut here, so what I'll do is uh, shape these in now with a belt sander. 
and then router them up. Another day and we are cooped up inside so lots of things going on again this place is torn apart Teal's working inside today because it's raining and quite honestly I don't care I dread it but I don't care because we're getting some stuff done oh. I just hate all these little black things. You know how hard it is to Clean. vacuum? <laughs> how many more do you have to do? Uh, this is the last one. Teal and Emma are on the docks right now because it is crab season year round around here. Um, as long as you use the flat traps, if you look over here, the whole dock is filled with people just crabbing. It's kind of fun. This is Emma's first time. So she's just been hanging out here with Teal, just doing a little hand line. Just getting a kick out of it. All the little ones, she gets to measure it up and see if anyone is of size. Most of them aren't, but it's still fun to do. All right, what's going on? Oh, this is bad! <laughs> One little crab. Still fun though. I think more than anything, Emma just likes picking them up and putting them back in the water. You catch one? Yeah. Okay, is it a male or a female, first of all? Let's see. It's male, I think. Okay, bring it over the dock, let's look. And I'm going to teach you how to measure it now. Okay. You see this gauge right here? Yeah. You measure from there. See this one right here? Yeah. It's, it's only five and three quarters, so it's just about a half an inch too small, but real close. Go ahead and put it back. Mm. Sorry, bed. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll let Emma continue crabbing. She hasn't got a keeper yet, but she's having fun. Meanwhile, I gotta keep busy. Get this old winch off. All the hardware's out. Just gotta break this butyl tape free. Oh, oh. West of grabs. <laughs> this will be a little trickier. So I'm filling uh, this old bolt pattern with uh, thickened epoxy. It's just slightly thickened. I want it to seep into that core. It's gonna rain tonight, so this should fire off just in time. So while that epoxy's uh, curing, Emma has caught about 20 crab on our little dock here, but they're all so small. 
We're gonna head over where all the other people are. They seem to be catching the big ones over there. We'll see how we do. Okay, we're only 100 yards from the boat, but it's about a mile walk to get over here. <laughs> Gotta go all the way around. But this is the good spot, right? These cool harbor seals. They're so cute. Nothing. I have everything ready for these winch installs. I've built my riser, my backer plates, I've modified the hardware, and I've actually put in uh, the port winch already. And it went in real smooth. Happy with that? So I'll show you how I did that on the starboard winch. It's actually pretty simple. You just have to break the winch down to gain access. breaks into a few pieces here. Now I'll be able to insert my hardware. These new Harkin winches are meant to be fastened through the deck with a hex headed socket bolt. I couldn't find the right length, but I did find these. But I can't get these to fit in. All I need to do is slightly modify them, and they slide right into place. I have 10 of these to modify. I'll have to get these all done before these go down. we install this, I'm going to tell you why I use plates on both sides of our core. Our entire boat's made with Nidacor. It's a polypropylene honeycomb composite. Very light, but very strong. If I were to just bolt straight through this with a washer on the back, well like any core, if you have a balsa core, foam core, when you have a skin on either side, you have a chance of crushing the core. So the bigger the plate, the stronger it'll be, and you can avoid that crushing. So that's why I do it. In every deck hardware application, I'm putting plates on both sides of the core. This winch is ready for installation. I have put butyl tape around the perimeter, and this is to seal between the riser and the deck. I've gone around all the hardware, so that'll have a nice watertight seal. I did not put any butyl tape between the riser and the winch. There is weep holes at the bottom of this winch, and I don't want to chance plugging those up. If water does get in, it needs a path to escape. So this is all set. I'll go outside now and lay out uh, the pattern on the deck, get that drilled out, and if I measured everything correctly, this winch will just slide right into place. I'll be able to put my backer plate on, big fender washers, and locking nuts. Tighten it all up, and this winch will be installed as well. Now it's just a matter of putting this back together. all these pieces blowing off the deck.
good, doesn't it? <laughs> Jerks. <laughs> I know. So we've had a lot. I know. So we've had a lot. <laughs> Just notice, look at all the color we're wearing today. I know, it's all I know. Gray. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay, I'm ready. So we've had a lot. <laughs> so we have got. We have got. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we've had a lot of questions from many people asking, where is our main sale? So it feels really good to start phase two of our sale plan. Speaking of questions, you guys have a lot of those for us as well. So next week we are going to be doing a Q&A. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below, and we will try to answer as many as we can. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you really liked it, please check out our website. There are many ways that you guys can help support the production of these videos. Come back next week to see another action-packed video. See you then! Bye! Bye! Now that the video is over, I'm going to go check on my tra crab trap.